Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy DZ Bike Life with another video for the channel. Uh, my first Q and A video. If you guys didn't see the post on my uh, Instagram, I got so many comments on the post. I think it's about. I'm gonna look at it right now because I can read them all. Hopefully, I can fit all of them in one video. So I got a total of 102 comments. This is the post. Yeah, 102 comments. So let me try to get all in. So I apologize if I don't answer your question because uh, I got a lot of like the same questions. So hopefully your question gets answered. Most likely if I didn't answer yours, it got answered already. So yeah, let's get into it. If y'all hear some weird sounds on the ground, this is my dog. My dog. Look at the camera. Come on. Come on. His name is Lexter. Lextery. <laughs> Ooh. His breath is hot. Question number one. Why don't you cut your hair? I did plan to grow it out, but uh, I don't know. I just wanted to try something different because before this, I had really short hair. And uh, my hair goes really fast, so I'll get a haircut every two weeks. So that's like $20, $25 every two weeks. So I wasn't doing that. How did you get sponsored by Throne? And do you have any tips for new guys to get sponsored? Um, I got sponsored uh, by Throne. I actually did a video about that. That's uh, one of my earlier videos about how I stopped riding SC bikes and how I'm with the wrong. So I'm leaving down below. Y'all yeah, check it out. That's a yeah, way earlier video. But tips for new riders. Um, I'm gonna keep it brief because this video might be long. Stay positive, stay consistent, uh, and don't give up. Does throwing pay you to ride? Like, do you get paid every goon tour slash goon ride? Uh, no, not yet. And I'm gonna just keep it real with y'all. Like, <laughs> this is DZ here. I'm gonna keep it real, -y, no cavalry. What was your first bike, and when did you learn to wheelie? Uh, my first bike technically was a a, a 20 inch Haro BMX. Had no brakes. It was even it wasn't even meant for wheelies. So I basically had to catwalk it. I can do the tricks I do now. I was about 2004. 2014 slash 13 when I had that bike. I missed that bike. That bike got stolen out of my homie garage because he left the garage open. <sighs> I missed that bike. What's your government? Question mark. Daniel? Question mark. That's crazy because my brother, my little brother name is Daniel. That's that's crazy. My real name is Jackson. <laughs> nah, but for real, my real name is Andrew. That's my government. What do you want to go to school to pursue? I don't like school. To be real with y'all, I don't like school. Uh, school won't necessarily help me in what I want to do as a career. Like college, I don't see college helping me, uh, helping me be better at riding bikes, be better at like business in general, uh, creating social media. I feel like college won't really help me for that. So I'm not gonna tell y'all stay in school because I don't like school. Why did I start riding? There's a lot of questions about why I started riding why I chose bike life, why I ride bikes, and why I'm in this culture. Yo, bro, chill. Get off me, please. Get off me. So I started riding bikes uh, mainly because my uncle, uh, my youngest uncle, rode BMX bikes. He didn't really do the stuff I do now. Where I am right now, there was no one riding 29ers, doing wheelies, doing tricks out here. So I seen it on Instagram. I seen, uh, Couple riders on the East Coast doing uh, these tricks on the big bike, so that's what kind of made me get the big bike 29ers, and then it went up from there. But I started on the 20 inch doing wheelies. Later on, I got the big bike. That was about five years ago. If you were to have a signature frame, how would it look? Uh, it would look sexy. I would like my frame to be uh, not one single color, probably two tone or like maybe wrapped. What motivates you? What motivates me? That's a good question. Uh, what motivates me is other people, success. I like to see them be successful and uh, them just being happy makes me happy, genuinely. Uh, what also motivates me is my haters because without haters, I can't really get the drive I need. Just me wanting to prove them wrong being different, I feel like that gives me like 
the motivation and drive. Because motivation, it comes and goes, but when it goes, you gotta tap into your head, find it back. Why did you stop doing combos? I mainly stopped doing combos because I felt like a lot of riders, especially a lot of younger riders, uh, they seen combos as like the, the main part in being good at riding. Like, basically, if you didn't do combos, you weren't good at riding bikes. But there's way more, way more aspects than doing combos, way more stuff like distance, control, being able to go through traffic, to be able to keep your wheel up. That's all I see on Instagram, just scrolling through, seeing combos. Like, it's just about being different. So I've seen everyone doing combos. I kind of stepped away from that. So if everyone today were to stop doing combos, everyone, I'll probably go back to doing combos. When did I start Corky Clothing? If y'all don't know, Corky Clothing is my brand, uh, streetwear brand. I started that in 2018. Uh, I was a sophomore in high school. What made you become a full-time biker? Just the whole vibe is crazy. Like, just riding. Just the way it makes me feel, like the energy I get when I ride. Exercise, meeting new people, traveling. Like a bike can take you where your feet just can't. Uh, it can bring you around certain people where it's just, like I like going to a ride out and just being around people that love the same thing I love to do. I think that's really cool. I started as a, it was a hobby when I first started, but it just became like my lifestyle. Like, I can never stop riding bikes. <laughs> Biggest life goal and inspirations. It says aspirations, but I don't know what aspirations mean. It might, he might have meant inspiration, but I'm gonna check what aspiration means because it sounds like a real word. Aspiration. A hope or ambition of achieving something. That's what aspiration means. I, I just learned a word in front of y'all. Don't get on my head, please. So, my biggest life goals. Um, is to buy my grandma a new house and be a big contribute to growing bike life to its fullest. Why are you so short? Bro, I'm like 6'8". But no, I'm like 5'7". What made you start Corky Clothing? What made me start Corky Clothing? So basically, I just always thought of like a message like Stop talking and just do it. Uh, let's talk more work is the motto. Basically, I, I, I just dislike when people talk about their dreams, talk about their plans, talk about what they want to do, how they want to make money, but they just don't follow through with it. They just talk about it and they don't put in the work to actually, you know, pursue it or achieve it. So uh, uh, I thought of like a phrase I can, I can work with other than like shut up. But like cork it means shut up, put a cork in it. I actually thought of that while riding. So I actually have a lot of ideas when I ride. That's why I like to ride too. Like my brain gets creative. It's in a different place when I ride. So I thought of that while riding. I remember exactly where I was too. I was uh, up the street from my house, going east, riding my bike next to McDonald's, put my phone. Yo, bro, why you dropping my pen? Put my phone out and noted it, cork it. That's where it began. That was sophomore year. Why are you so cool, bro? I don't know. It's just just being myself. I think if you can be yourself 100%, you can be cool as well. I think everybody's cool in their own way. Just the uh, the main the main key, just be yourself, honestly. Do I miss writing SC hashtag tool gang? Mm. No. Is it true that you have arthritis and <laughs> have to take meds every day for your pains? No. I take CBD though every day. What made you put a front brake on your bike? Yeah, I just like being different. Uh, not a lot of people have front brakes on their bike. That ride BMX bikes and like big bikes. So there it is again, just be different. Uh, Russ Jalopy, he uh, had front brakes on his bike. So he kind of helped me, kind of gave me tips on how to mount my front brakes on. So shout out to Russ Jalopy. And he is now on the throne gang. Super Liddy, how did I get my name? DZ. So a while back, before I started riding bikes, or like kind of when I got serious about it, uh, there was a rapper I liked named Meezy, M-E-E-Z-Y. 
Uh, it was a really small rapper. You probably can't even find him today. I changed the M into a D. So it's DZ instead of Meezy because uh, my nickname was Drew, so I kept the D. Pause. How's the durability on your new throne bike? How does it compare to your old SE bikes? Um, the durability is, uh, I say, about even. I'm gonna be honest, Throne uh, has to improve a little bit on the components, but Throne been around for, let's just say, Throne been doing these 29er bikes for two years, almost three years. SE been around for, I think, 40 years, 30 years, I don't know. Basically, they've been in the game for a minute. So, if we're just starting off, Throne just starting off with these bikes, and we're ready near them, product-wise, who knows what the next two to three years hold for Throne and how the bikes come out. Be patient, uh, sending feedback, sending questions, feedback, all that, that uh, helps a lot. When are you going to take a dab of wax with the homies? <laughs> I don't smoke, sir. Where did you grow up? I was born in Long Beach, California, but I grew up in the Inland Empire. That's uh, near the desert more. It's like less city-like. It's pretty, it's odd out here. Uh, it's not really a bike scene out here, mostly roadies and mountain bikes. That's why I like going to LA to ride my bike, because that's where all the homies at, that's where the streets at, the city, that's where the scenery's at. Where did the origin of Don't Panic come from? So when I ride, see someone panic, and tell them don't panic, and then don't panic. What's better, a Throne Tricolor or a Vincent Mataro? Mataro. Never had a Mataro, never had a Tricolor, but I think the Tricolor looks better. It's pretty, uh, like, slick. Favorite trick, the Endo. Endo is when you basically do a wheelie on your front wheel with the front brakes, and yeah, it's pretty dope. I like it. Bro, you were not 34. I heard you were, like, 22. All right, so I'm just get this out the way. I'm gonna get out the way. I posted on my uh, on this post that I'm 34. I was just fooling. I'm actually 17 years old. Uh, my birthday is June 7, 2002. So my birthday's coming up this summer. I'll leave my cash app right here. Y'all wanna send me some uh, some breadery? So each one of my viewers send me a dollar. I get about like enough to buy me. Like a quesadilla from like Taco Bell. Why are you not sponsored yet? That was a really weird question. Cause I am sponsored. I'm sponsored by Jimmy's Bikes, Throne Cycles, U Lock, B C and Reflex, and uh, I might have a new sponsor coming. J T Racing. It's an old school racing brand. How long did it take you to get comfortable with wheeling? I say about like two months. Cause after getting off the 20 inch onto a 29er, it took me four days to like pop the wheel up and like get a couple pedals in. So yeah, I'm still learning. I think everyone is like never finished learning. There's always work to do, always work to improve on. You man or woman? I'm a grown woman. What life lessons has bike life taught me? Bike life taught me about bonds. Never judge a book by its cover. Like people in the cars that see us ride. They might just think like we're either all friends or all random people that have no relationship. But something as simple as a bike, a piece of metal with some wheels on it can like make us basically in a family. Like majority of my friends today ride bikes. Like, I, have a, I have a handful, little small, little, little small handful of friends that I still talk to that don't ride bikes. Majority of my homies today ride bikes. I met them through bikes. Also taught me how to handle certain situations uh, differently and in a certain way. Uh, taught me like how to how to uh, avoid unnecessary drama. Mostly the people I'm with taught me that, like my older homies. If it wasn't for bike life, I wouldn't have met my older homies. That taught me that. What's the worst fall you've been on while riding? Mm. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that hurt pretty bad. So yeah, I got a lot of uh, questions on how Throne sponsored me. Like I said, I'll leave the video down below. So you can check that one out too. How did you realize you can manufacture your own adro adrenochrome? What's an adrenochrome? And my dog know tricks too, watch. Speak. Come on, bro. You, you embarrass me like that? Speak. Bro, speak. 
Oh, good boy. Why do you ride with one Maxxis on the back and thick slick on the front? That's a great, great, great question. So I ride a Maxxis on the back and a thick slick on the front because there's a couple of reasons. It's less weight on the front because the thick slick is lighter. Uh, the Maxxis has more grip. I do Willy, so I keep it on the back. Uh, it's cheaper, so you don't gotta buy two expensive tires because the Maxxis is just more expensive. So if you want the ultimate tire setup, Willys, rock my setup. Maxxis on the back. They sleep on the front. If you have one bike to get, which one would you get? Probably the 2020 Throne Goon. Honestly, how long have you been growing your hair out for? It's been about um, let me do the math three. About three years. About three years. That's pretty easy. Uh, the Goon, because just the the way it's set up, the way it's built, it's the BMX bike slash cruiser. That's more of my style than the Terra. The Terra is a great bike. I love it for wheelies, long distance wheelies. Uh, the ratio is pretty cool. It's fast too. I just rather rather go. On. What's the best trick I've done? Um, probably still the handlebars with no hands. I like that trick a lot. I'm still trying to master it. What songs do you listen to when riding? Yeah, I like rap music. Since you rode for SC and Throne, honestly. Your opinion, which do you think is better? Um, as a company, as a brand, I like Throne better. Every color bike, what brand was it? It was a Throne, it was my red Throne. Uh, it was burgundy, but that was my favorite bike. And I had the first, first ever burgundy Throne, burgundy and gold, first ever. Better than Corey, no cap. Uh, I don't think I'm better than Corey. And it's not about being the best. It's about being different from the rest. No capri. How and when did yo come on now? Oh my! How and when did you become a team member of Throne? And are you happy with how successful you've been in life so far? Um, so I'm gonna just say in the video. Uh, I got with Throne with the help of Blackboy Fame and Jimmy's bikes, and also just being out there riding being cool with everybody, uh, just being outside and putting in that work, making content, and uh, also being professional on uh, in real life uh, and on Instagram. Just when you, when you, when you wanna get sponsors, when you wanna work with brands, they're companies. Therefore, you gotta be professional. Uh, carry yourself in a certain way, what brands would like, but it should always be business when you're posting, when you're talking about stuff. Because brands do see that and brands do take that into consideration when they want to work with you. So always stay clean, stay professional. Yeah, I feel like I've been successful in life so far. I feel happy. I like what I do, like what I'm doing. And that's what I uh, recommend for you guys. Just strive for happiness. I'm only 17, so I really haven't even lived life yet. But yeah, I feel like I've been successful so far. You are not in your 30s, yo mid to early 20s mm, do i look that old nah 20s is not old 30s not old either but would you consider riding dirt bikes on trails mm, yeah it's pretty fun it looks pretty fun but if i would ever ride dirt bikes like seriously i ride in the street because that's just my style can you send me pads yes sir just cash at me 25 and i'll send you pad my guy what made you start doing youtube um john hicks uh john hicks is the homie he told me I should have on YouTube. It's just like a good opportunity just to grow, grow your brand. John Hicks was a big part in uh, making me start doing YouTube. How you recommend starting a YouTube channel? Um, getting content, uh, staying consistent, uh, just work on growing, you know, cater to your audience, make good content, be different, make different content. When are you doing a bike check? I want to do a bike check, but uh, um, I think I want to have uh, the homie Slum One recorded for me because he is sick with the camera and the computer work. So I might want to uh, collaborate with him or the homie uh, Chikara CJ because you know they sick with it. Why did I put front pegs on? Um, I had an extra pair of pegs. I had front pegs on before, but I didn't really do much with them. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out some new tricks I can do with them. So yeah, that's all questions. Like I said, I'm sorry if I didn't answer your questions specifically. 
hopefully you got your answer somewhere in the video. But I appreciate everyone for dropping a question. Uh, it's my first Q&A. I really enjoyed it. I hope y'all learned some more about me. If you have any more questions, drop them down below. I'll answer them for you. But right now, I'm technically on quarantine, so I can't really do much. And it's raining outside. I might go ride later on, but I have some patteries to do. I have some to send out. I'm also filming a video on how I make a pattery. I'm going to post that on my channel also. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you like the content, let me know down below if you do or not. And destroy that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to grow the channel. Y'all can help me out majorly if you just hit that like button. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Until the next video, I love y'all. Yes, sir.